Ukrainian Kieser Howitzer managed to thwart Russian attack on Abyevka. For several days now, Russian brigades have been trying to advance north and south of Avdivka, a Ukrainian stronghold northwest of Donetsk in eastern Ukraine's Donbass region. Russia's main goal was to stall and starve Ukraine's Avdivka garrison, including the battle-weary 110th Mechanized Brigade, and force officials in Kyiv to make difficult choices. Either surrender the city or redeploy valuable brigades from other sectors to save it. So far, there is one main thing that has thwarted Russia's plans. Ukrainian army artillery, which for three weeks in a row attacked Russian columns, reportedly destroyed thousands of troops and hundreds of combat vehicles. The Ukrainian infantry brigades in Avdivka each have large guns and rocket launchers, but the main artillery weapon in the area is the Ukrainian army's 55th artillery brigade, mainly Kieser self-propelled howitzers donated by Ukraine's NATO allies. Next, your group CEO, Nicholas Chumasi, stated that France is quickly moving to expand domestic production capacity of the truck-mounted 155mm Kieser artillery, and added that Ukraine could receive more of such self-propelled howitzers. Kieser is very powerful and suitable for use by the Ukrainian military. Therefore, we assume there will be more Kieser deliveries. We have introduced fundamental changes in industrial processes to increase production capabilities. Since the beginning of the war, we have doubled the production of Kieser and doubled the production of ammunition. Our common goal is to help Ukraine, said Nicholas Chumasi. Two shells were fired against Russian artillery positions located 29 kilometers away. Lieutenant Mykola, who operates the French imported vessel, said it took 53 seconds to reach the target. Because the Kieser was a self-propelled gun, it could move from its firing position to avoid the target and be destroyed by enemy counterattacks. The 155mm howitzer mounted on a six-wheel truck chassis was highly regarded for its accuracy. This is part of the modern arsenal provided to Ukraine by many countries since its first invasion. Since the outbreak of the war, in addition to anti-tank and anti-aircraft missiles and armored vehicles, France has provided the Ukrainian army with 18 Kieser cannons and an estimated 6 to 12 more cannons. Kieser can fire 6 bullets per minute and is capable of firing bullets at a distance of more than 40 kilometers. Shooting and running helped Kieser's battery avoid Russian return fire. To hit Kieser's battery before launch, the Russians would have had to triangulate the source of the incoming shells, send a drone to spot Kieser firing, then aim their own weapons to retaliate, all within 180 seconds. Although the Russians had perfected counterattack tactics prior to the Avdiivka operation, the Russian army apparently had not managed to take out any of Kieser's 55th Brigade. Every day the 55th mobile howitzer was in action meant more Russian vehicles were damaged and destroyed. Even worse for the Kremlin, Kieser apparently fired American-made M864 cluster rounds, each of which scattered 72 grenade-sized bombs. A well-targeted cluster bullet can destroy an entire enemy platoon. A video showing cluster attacks targeting Russian troops around Avdiivka clearly illustrates the deadly effect of the shells. Kieser was developed in the 1990s as a technology demonstration by the French state-owned company GIAT Industries, in collaboration with Lore Industry. It was first introduced to the public in 1994. Four years later, a pre-production model underwent trials with the French army. In peacetime, production rates at Nexter were estimated at 10 teasers per year. Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022 increased demand. As of early 2023, Nexter's factory in Borges was producing between two and four units per month in continuous operation. The next expected milestone is producing eight Kieser's per month by December 2023. This weapon uses a special type of shell, LU-211, which is manufactured at Lev Forges de Tarbes, within the city's armory. The workshop was privatized in November 2021 by a French company which was recently recapitalized for 100 million euros. 
In 2020, the Minister of the Armed Forces signed a 25 million euros contract for the factory to supply bullets to the French army for a decade. Privatization generates 9 million euros annually for the period 2021 to 2024. In autumn 2021, the company supplied an additional 2 million euros to modernize the factory, which also produces 120 millimeters ammunition for the Leclerc MBT. Production rate is 1,500 Kieser shells per month in March 2023, which is planned to increase to 3,000 per month in January 2024. France is providing Kieser 6x6 howitzers to Ukraine from May 2022 onwards in the context of the Russo-Ukrainian War, having promised a total of 30 units. Denmark also announced that it has shipped all of its Kieser 8x8 to Ukraine from April 2023 on.